Hello friends, I am Saket Bansal and today I am talking about our upcoming Discuss Agile conference in Bangalore. I have been organizing these conferences for four years and I do attend lots of conferences as a participant, sometimes as a speaker. And when I was planning for this Bangalore conference, I was thinking what value does it add? It should not be just an another conference where we try to sell some tickets, bring some speakers and make some buzz about Agile or project related stuff. It has to be a little bit different. It has to add some special value which is missing in other conferences as of now. now when I was going through this thought process, few ideas came in my mind and this time in our Bangalore conference we are experimenting them. The difference is from the participant perspective should should uh, identified rather than only I say that this is different because only you can tell after attending the conference was it really different or it was same. Now but somewhere we have to start some ideas some hypothesis need to be validated and I am trying five things which in my view are relatively new for our upcoming conference. The first thing is incremental agenda. So why we have to run an agile conference in a waterfall way? Why do we have to publish a date for submitting the proposals? Why can't we keep accepting the proposals as it comes? And this is what we are trying to do this time. You can submit your proposal now if it passes through the reviewers and audience evaluation process we will confirm it now itself. And you can keep putting up your proposal even till later stage if we have a slots available you may get the chance to present your talk. So it's an incremental evaluation of the agenda. Mini conferences. Now the second thing is it's not a one conference. I am trying to run this particular conference as a collection of conferences. So we have identified four major areas or themes and I would say that we are running four mini conferences in a big conferences. Yeah, they are like track but unlike general tracks in conferences, they are owned by someone and we are trying to find out a group of volunteer and a track chair who evangelize, who make that particular track popular and who plays a critical role in identifying talks and speakers in that particular track. So we have a personal agility track which is led by Peter Stevens. He is certified scrum trainer. He runs his own personal agility program. And we have Kanban track which is owned by Sanjay, Sanjay Kumar, who is accredited Kanban trainer as well as Kanban certified coach. One of the most popular Kanban trainer for Lean Kanban University in India. He will, he will ensure that we get some interesting talks towards Kanban. I am running a one particular track which I call it Hybrid Agile Pragmatic Agile. This particular track is all about identifying instances, cases where people could make, could bring some agility in imperfect world. So where things are not perfect for agile kind of mindset but still people could bring some success in the, those kind of environment and I call it Hybrid Agile or Pragmatic Agile. We have Agile Coaching and Leadership Track which is owned by Jerry who is Certified Enterprise Coach by Scrum Alliance. He is the, the most oh, like oldest Certified Enterprise Coach of, uh, in, in India. So he primarily will spend time in identifying the talks which are related to coaching and Agile Leadership. And then we have a generic uh, uh, talks which are on Agile and Scrum. So you can say that we have four specialized mini conferences and one is a generic conference where anything related to Agile and Scrum can be proposed. Now how many talks in each particular track will get evaluated, will, will get emerged as we move forward. So there is no uh, clarity on how many talks per track we will we'll have. But the idea is this concept of bringing many conferences should bring more value and should bring more focused kind of audience and speaker towards our conference. So I spoke about two points till now, incremental agenda and second is mini conferences. The related uh, uh, point is no surprise. So when we talk about incremental agenda, many times I observe even in the recent conferences where I attend uh, as a participant, speakers try to make the talk title a bit catchy. And sometimes in the process of making talk title catch, we, we end up missing the link between the title and the topic. 
and there are various instances where people went to the talk and they realized that they were expecting something different, different because the title was something which didn't give them a clear idea what is going to happen in that particular talk. Yes, do you do have a, some description about the talk, but you may need more details about the, the, the given talk. And in order to ensure that you know in which particular talk you are going and what kind of coverage and what kind of depth that, that particular talk will bring it to you, we want to ensure that all selected talk goes through our video interview process. So all speakers are expected to present their idea, present their talk to us in the form of a video interview. Uh, we have a group of volunteers who will help us in conducting those video interviews and these videos will get shared with all the participants or, or with, with everyone so that they can judge, they can identify what makes more value for them. So which talk will give more value you can decide in advance. The another advantage this, this video interviews will bring in is that many of us may not be able to attend the conference in person and we should not limit the sharing of knowledge uh, for the only people who are coming to the conference. So if you are not in India, if you are not in Bangalore, these video interviews will give you a good window to our speakers and their experience and the conference which we are going to run in Bangalore. Inspiring keynotes. Now, keynotes are always a, a talk or, or, or a topic to be discussed and looked into for every conference. So this is not so different, but it is still worth talking about. This time, we have two certified scrum trainers, Peter Stevens and Maria Matarelli, speaking about their view on, many times, agility just not limited to scrum. And incidentally, both of them are certified scrum trainers, so they teach a lot of scrum. But along with that, they are also experimenting bringing scrum and agile in non-IT related areas. Both of them working together for creating a program for personal agility. Maria is also working on creating a program for agile marketing. So unlike a normal professional scrum trainer who only focuses on scrum, they do teach scrum and that's why they are certified scrum trainer as well. But along with that, they also experiment other stuff. So I am expecting our audience, our participants will get good value from these two inspiring keynotes. And we will have more keynotes as well and those details will emerge as we go forward. CST mentoring, the fifth topic, the final topic. When I interact with people in conferences, I find many of you want to become certified Scrum trainer. And when I look at information at Scrum Alliance, in my estimate, approximately 10 to 20% of certified Scrum masters are coming from India because we have a huge market and Certified Scrum Master programs are very popular. Now, how many percentage of Certified Scrum trainers are residing in India? So, if we look at the today's information, we have 222 Certified Scrum trainers and in India, we only have seven. So, even with some improvements, maybe in next six, seven months, we may get three, four more. But again, the number will remain less than 10. If we have an education share of 10%, we may also need a share of a share in the teaching space, which is at least 10% of the global uh, pool. And the 10% could be 22. So we need at least 20, 25 scrum trainer in India so that we can bring more transformation to the world of work. Now, many of you are aspiring to become certified scrum trainer, but you struggle to figure out how do you start, how do you fill the application, how do you bring the, the how do you introduce yourself to a certified scrum trainer so you get an opportunity to do core training. So there could be a lot of such kind of questions and which usually get discussed in many of the regional and global scrum gatherings. But this time in our conference also, we are spending good amount of time on CST mentoring related topic. Incidentally, the Peter Stevens, who is who's also a keynote speaker in this particular conference, also runs a program to mentor certified scrum trainer, which leads to, to speed up their certified scrum trainer journey. So if you are enrolled to that program, then you find a lot of information which you can take away from this conference to build up your own application. If you are not, and you have some ideas, some questions related to certified scrum trainer, this, this conference will provide all necessary support 
or information related to your certified scrum trainer journey. We want you to get certified as a certified scrum trainer and help our uh, community to bring more agility and scrum in the world of, of work. So they are, these are just top level five things and I'm sure I will add many such things as we inspect and adapt in next one and a half month before the real conference happen. Even in the last week we will end up adding a lot of stuff to the conference to bring maximum value to you. So my request, if you have some idea to share which maps to the track or it, it is a generic idea, don't wait, put your proposal to our discussagile.com. We want to hear your story and this will also help our community to learn from your experience. Propose your talk as soon as you can.